wrap up our discussion about percents by uh, tying this into some real world problems and some word problems uh, that you might come across uh, as you're taking like an AccuPlacer test or any other kind of test in, uh, involving these. So uh, let, let's just look at a percentage equation where nothing is missing. Okay? So for example, 3 fifths equals 60 over 100. That's just a proportion. It's a true fraction. It's using percentages because remember percent means uh, over 100. So we turned this number 3 fifths into 60%. Okay? And so what we end up doing in uh, word problems that involve percents is one of these things will be missing. And so your job is just going to be to set up this fraction correctly, okay, set up the proportion correctly, and then solve that proportion to find whatever is missing. Okay? So one type of problem that you might come across is this kind of thing is called is over of. Right? So uh, here's the setup. Okay? To figure out what the information you know, here's the general rule. Okay? W when we set up our fractions, we usually put the smaller part on the top and then the whole on the bottom, so like 3 fifths. Okay? And we, uh, when we're talking about percents, obviously the percent goes on the top, and then the number 100 is always on the bottom. So that 100 is there because we're talking about percentages. Right? So if, if you take a look at this, if we stick with this basic setup, is over of equals percent over 100, this is a nice kind of trick that we can use to figure out what we know and what we don't know when we're trying to f uh, solve some percent problems. So let's look at the problems and you'll see what I mean by this whole is over of equals percent over 100. So in this case, if I say, what is 90% of 40? Okay? And I'm asking you to take 90% of 40. So we're going to set up an equivalent, I'm sorry, a, propor uh, in a proportion that we can solve, but we've got to figure out where everything goes. right? So I have this fraction, and I'm just going to write it up over here, is over of is equal to percent over 100. Okay? So what I know here is I know that the denominator on the right is always going to be 100, so I'm going to replace that. Okay? I know 90%, so I know this percent number is 90. Okay? And then this statement says of 40. So they're kind of asking us, we know that the whole chunk of whatever is 40. Okay? So I'm going to place that down here, of 40. Okay? And I don't know what that little section is. I don't know the, the part. I know the whole, I don't know the part, so I'm going to call this one x. Okay? So we're, in this case, here's that situation where I say back here, in word problems, one of these is missing. In this case, the uh, is was the thing that we didn't know, because it says, what is? Question mark. We don't know. So now we just have to solve this. Do it, use a cross multiplying. I'm going to say uh, 90 times 40. Okay? I'm, well, let's do 100 times x is 100x. Okay? And then 90 times 40 is 3,600. Okay, and if I do my division, uh, I'm going to get a 36. Okay, so they're saying, if you take 90% of 40, you're going to get 36. Okay, and so this is one type of word problem that you'll commonly see, where they're going to remove one of these four things, or in this case, one of these three things, because 100 is always the same. But uh, let, let's look at the other examples and kind of see what else could change. So this is 15 is what percent of 45? So I'm going to look at this and say, OK, 100 is always 100. It says of 45, well, of is on the bottom over here. Okay, so again, they're giving us the whole. They're saying 15 is. So 15 is is going to be up here. And they're saying what percent? So this is our question mark, right? We don't know the percent. I'll place the x there. Okay, so this says 45 times x. That's 45x. Okay, and 15 times 100 is 1,500. Okay? x is equal to, we got to do some math here, okay, so uh, 45 into uh, 1,500, I'm going to cheat a little bit, just for the sake of time in the video, okay, so we'd have to sit here and do our division, okay, we end up with 33 and a repeating 3, right, so again, we can sit here and do the long division, but just for the sake of length in this video, I'm not going to pull out my long division symbol, okay, so here's the last one, 25 is 50% of what number? So let's go back to our standard template. We're going to say, OK, I know that it's always going to be a 100 in the denominator, 50%. So they're giving me the percent. So I'm going to place 50 up here. Okay, and it says 25 is. Well, that's this one. Okay. And again, if we, we kind of want to make sure that this denominator is something that we don't know, it says, of what number? They're saying, of I don't know. So it kind of makes sense that this should be x. All right, so again, 25 times 100 and 50 times x. 50x equals 2,500. Okay? 
and then we got to divide both sides by 50, okay, and we'll find out that x is equal to fifty. Okay, so this is gonna be fifty. Okay. And if you think about common sense, it says twenty-five is fifty percent of what? Well fifty percent is a half. If I take half of fifty, I get twenty-five. So it all kind of works out uh, if we think about logically if this makes sense, right, that x should be fifty. Alright, so let's finish up by looking at uh, some other word problems. Okay. And so this is kind of, again, taking it into a, a context. Right? We're not just thinking about uh, is and of. Right? But it, it kind of all falls into the same type of thing. So it says you're given 18% of a $200 prize pool. How much money did you get? So we're going to set up is over of equals percent over 100. I'm going to do that. It says is over of is equal to percent over 100. So I'm going to look at what I have. So this is going to be... 100 on the bottom. They gave me the percents 18. Okay, and it says of $200. All right. So even though this is kind of a more complex word problem, I'm not just asking what is 18% of 200. We can still pull these keywords out and say of 200. So 200 is my denominator. Okay, because that's where of is, and I don't know this one. All right. So in this case where um, you know, uh, you can do the cross multiplication. Our answer is going to be uh, come out to be that x is 36. Okay. So that means that $36 is 18% of my $200 prize pool. Right. Okay? Um, and you, again, you can do the cross multiplication. The point is, you need to be able to set up this equation correctly: is over of equals percent over 100. So here's our last problem. Yeah, I won't do all of them. Okay. It says you are given $150 which is 10% of a prize pool. And now we have to figure out, well, what does that mean? Okay, so again, 10 over 100, that's the percent. And it says you are given 150, which is, oh, I see that word is again, right? So that means that this is 10, the 10% of something. Wow, and I can't spell prize pool, typo there, okay? So it says of a prize pool, and then they're saying how much was the prize? So they're kind of saying, I don't know of, right? So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to say this is unknown. So I can, again, do my cross multiplication. 10x is equal to, okay, when I'm multiplying these two together, remember our zeros, when I multiply uh, 150 times 100, I can just take those extra zeros and tack them onto the end. And when I divide by 10, I can just chop one of them off. So this is going to end up being $1,500 prize pool, okay? So any of the rest of these problems are going to be a very similar uh, type of problem. Okay, so it says uh, if you're given $200 of a $500 prize pool, what percent? So they're kind of saying, I don't know the percent out of 100, okay, of $500, so that's going to go on the bottom, and 200 is the, por the, the part of the whole, okay? So the last one is going to be the same exact thing, 10 uh, boys and 15 girls. We have to be careful with this one, though, okay? So they're saying... 10 boys and 15 girls in a classroom, and what percent is girls? So they're saying, I don't know percents, okay, out of 100. What percent of the room is girls? So I set up the right-hand side and said, I don't know the percent out of 200, okay, and this says 10 boys and 15 girls. Here's where I need to be careful with this last one, okay? It's 15 girls that says, what percent of the room is girls? So I'm going to say 15 girls, that is the part, out of the whole, well, the whole classroom is made up of boys and girls. So that's going to be the 10 boys and the 15 girls. That is 25 people, right? So this last, last one's a little tricky. You need to think about the fact that when we're talking about percents, we're talking about part over whole. So I didn't write 10 in the denominator because I wasn't doing boys versus girls. I was doing 15 girls is the part out of 25 people in the room. That is the whole. 100 in the percentages always represents the whole quantity everything so when I talked about the denominator on the left hand side I needed to do the same thing and say what is the whole class not just the 10 boys okay so be careful when you're doing these setups that you don't get stuck on the rules it's not just is over of equals percent over 100 we always want to think about this as part over whole because percents always represent 100 as being the whole so keep that in mind don't just get mechanical and do rules think about does my problem make sense okay so again you can go through and solve these problems uh, to, to, you know, find out what x is, but the point is being able to do this setup properly uh, to solve the percentage word problems.